Good morning kids, welcome back to Adventureland. If you can remember what we've been learning about, we've been learning about the fruits of the Spirit. God wants us to grow the fruits of the Spirit in our heart and we need to have God's help and the water of God's Word to help us to grow love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control in our lives. So this far, what have we learnt about already? We've learnt about love, that God wants us to love everybody like the Good Samaritan. And then we learnt about joy and how we can have happiness in our heart because God lives with us and he lives inside our heart and he gives us joy. And then we learnt about peace, how God calmed the storms and we don't need to be scared because God lives in our hearts and he's always looking after us. And then we learnt about patience, the patient plum. And that was Sarah and Simeon. Remember how they were waiting in the temple for God's promise? God said that they wouldn't die until they saw baby Jesus. But they had to wait a really long time and they got really old. But God gave them patience. And patience is waiting without complaining. And then last week, we had our kind kiwi fruit. And who can tell me what kindness means? Remember we read a story in the Bible about Rahab, how she helped the spies and she was kind to them. And when she showed them kindness, God also showed her kindness by saving her and her family when the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. This week, I've got another box and let's see what's in it and what's the other fruit we're going to add to our tree. We're going to be adding some goodness. These are the good grapes. So let's put them on our tree. Okay. This week, we're going to learn how God wants us to be good. Good all the time. And where do you think we're going to find a story of somebody who's really good? We're going to find a story of Jesus in the Bible where he showed us how to be good and he wants us to copy him. Let's go have a read of the Bible. Stories of the Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus had 12 men who followed him through his ministry. They were called his disciples. Jesus and his disciples gathered for one final meal together. Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, and began to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus loved his disciples and he knew the time was coming for him to leave them and return to heaven. When Jesus came to Peter, he said, whoa, 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 wait. Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, You don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. No! Peter said, You will never wash my feet. But Jesus then told him that unless he washed his feet, he would not belong to him. Oh, well then, okay! Then Peter said, Then wash my hands and head as well, not just my feet. But Jesus told him that was not necessary. He just needed to wash his feet for Peter to become clean. So Jesus finished washing their feet and said that the disciples should do to others as he had done for them. He told them to follow the example that he had set for them to serve each other and not think of themselves as greater than any other. 
then God would bless them for doing as Jesus had taught them to do. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the story. You learned about how Jesus helped the disciples by washing their dirty feet and he was good to them. And he was a really good example of somebody who was good because he was always good and God wants us to be good too. So this week we have a craft here which is a reminder of when Jesus washed the disciples' feet. And so now we can remember that God wants us to help people as well, just like he did, and to be good. Other examples of goodness would be listening to your mum and dad, being obedient, sharing your toys, doing nice things for your friends. These are all examples of when we're being good. And God likes it when we're good. That makes him really happy. So I hope you kids are good for your parents this week. And before we go under our cross, how about we bow our heads and close our eyes and ask God to help us? Okay, close your, head, your eyes, bow your heads and say, Dear God, 